What is up, YouTube? I got a nice hair day going on today. Uh, today, we are going to discuss G meters and acceleration meters. <laughs> So what is a G meter or acceleration meter? Well, this is a G meter. And what this little guy does is it can log and tell you what type of G force uh, you are seeing on the car. So why do we want that? I have never tuned to G meters before, but um, talking and seeing a lot of other top guys, um, G meter is pretty important. now. Some guys will look at their draggy and the draggy does give you a G meter rating, but it's kind of rough. It's not really super accurate to scale. Like you can't really see exactly what it's doing. Um, and also you can't really bring it over to your log and kind of see like what your wheel speed's doing and stuff like that. So what this is gonna allow us to do is have a G meter on the car in the ECU and it will actually plot out the G meter, uh, the G's from the car during the run. Now, how do we use that for tuning? So Basically, when you're racing, um, you wanna go as fast as you can, right? So what the G-meter does is, is allows you to set data points and to kind of see what kind of G your car can pull of what surface or where you're at. And obviously the goal is to try to get, drive as much G-force as you can off the hit without spinning the tire. So what you can do with this is you can compare wheel slip, uh, drive shaft curve, stuff like that to the G-meter curve and say, okay, well, I barely had any, you know, wheel speed. The G meter is not as high as I'd like it to. So I'm gonna add more power to get the G meter up. Well, also what it can do is you can kind of see when the G meter comes down or flattens out. If you don't have wheel speed, then you know that the car can handle more power. So if your G meter is coming down, right where it's kind of starting to come down, add power to that area to try to get the car to accelerate faster. So. G's is acceleration of the car. So, and you want to accelerate as fast as you can to the 60 and the 330 um, to get the best ET. So, we're going to add a G meter. They're really not that expensive. Luckily for me, <clears throat> Max ECU actually makes their own Max ECU G meter. It goes up to three G's. I'm not going to be seeing three G's. Um, so, we can wire this right into the ECU. Um, you have to bolt it down something sturdy and you have to face the G meter a certain way so it can accurately get you the correct Gs. I think we're gonna mount it down underneath my shifter area and the center console. I um, mean, it's really easy to wire. It's just five volt sensor. Um, so it's five volt reading plus ground and then the signal wire. And it's just a nice linear plot. So we're gonna wire this up real quick and then I'll show you guys on the computer what we have to do to get it to read, and then we're gonna go test drive and see what she does. So I decided to go ahead and throw Velcro in the back. <clears throat> Make sure you guys use alcohol and clean it really well. And I'm gonna put like a bigger square in the car. <clears throat> so we're putting it right there. As you can see, I cleaned a good area. So I'm gonna put a Velcro square down in there. And then that way, if I need to remove the sensor for any reason, I can. I was gonna do a bolt down through the center, um, but we're gonna Velcro it. If the Velcro for some reason doesn't hold, then I'll do a bolt, but I think the Velcro will do just fine. All right, well, we're getting close. Uh, we're just pinning up the wires right now. So let me show you guys. So right here is our clip. Um, our sensor is gonna go right there. So far we have our ground and our power, and we're currently running my sensor wire but the wire is gonna be hidden. They're gonna come across from the ECU, under here, under here. Sensor will sit down in there. So right now it's a mess. It's getting our wire situated and then uh, we'll hook it up. All right, we're all wired up. There's where my sensors is gonna sit, right underneath the dash. So we're all ready to go. Let's get the uh, computer hooked up. All right guys, so here we have our setup. Um, so acceleration is an analog input. We have accelerometer and we have a user defined sensor because I wanted to make sure that it was what it was. So at 
one volt is three G's, two and a half is zero G's, and then at four volts, it's negative three G's. We put a small filter on it, and we want, we want um, 0 0.00 for our resolution, or 0 0.01, I mean. Um, so that's how we set up our sensor. All right, so it's pretty cool here how it works. Um, as you can see here, we have our RPM, and we have our wheel slip at the bottom here, and then here's our G meter, so pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it looks like it climbs all the way to about three quarters of a G. <clears throat> so here's our RPM, 7600. And then you can you can kind of see how RPM kind of climbed there, and then it kind of went steady. Well, as you can see here, it started to slip. And right when it started to slip, you can see the RPM shoot up. Shoots right up. RPM shoots up. You can see the wheel slip here. And then obviously with wheel slip, the G meter falls almost to only a quarter of G. So it's pretty crazy. You lose a half a G by spinning your tire. Now I was on a hard tire. So when you spin a hard tire, you, you lose a lot. That's why it's only like 13, 14% and we're losing the tire pretty quick. And as you can see, it kind of bounces around here as I'm spinning the tire and I'm hitting the rev limiter. <clears throat> and then as soon as I shift, as you can see, it shoots back up to almost three quarters of a G again. And uh, it holds, you know, about a half a G. And then it falls down to about 0.4 by, uh, where are we at there? 71 RPM and top gear with no wheel slip, as you can see. So it's a really cool thing to have. Um, you can really dial in your tune with wheel slip or drive shaft speed, RPM, and looking at seeing what your G meter is doing. So, I mean, you can do a lot with just with uh, wheel slip. Obviously, you can see when you when you slip your tires, you lose G's. But when you start running slicks and radials and stuff like that, you're not really sure at what slip percentage um, is fast. So you have a G meter to really tell you if you're going fast or not. A G meter is not going to lie; it's going to tell you exactly um, if you're going fast or not. So this is and th this was just a rolling. I just rolled onto it here. Um, so really, really cool data. Um, and as you can see, when it's real solid, the squiggles get a lot less. And of course, I can filter this out a little more if I wanted to, <clears throat> but um, it's pretty cool. I can actually throw on here um, acceleration and it will come over. Um, it looks a little different than my solid. So let's just do the acceleration. So here, as you can see, it just goes by, you know, 0 0.7, you know, there's 80 and then six. So it's a little bit more, a little bit more toned down, but I like kind of the raw, the raw data. Um, I'm more into the raw data. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Hope you guys learned a little bit about G meters today and how to wire them up. They're real simple. Like I said, five volt source, uh, ground source, and then just an input or an output goes right to your ECU and your ECU designates, you know, what voltage is what G. So really cool little tool. Um, I'm really excited to uh, get out and start racing with that. Just being able to see data and be able to see the G-force on my computer and not just on the draggy. Um, really be able to dial in the G. And you can go off the G um, with, you know, how hard you're launching the car, what kind of grip are you seeing. So obviously if you're seeing little wheel slip, in your G meter, you think you can get more, obviously you put more power to it. If your G meter on the second run is the same or less and your tire is about the same, then maybe you got something else going on. Maybe your converter needs to be tightened up. Uh, maybe you have a boost leak. It just, you know, it just depends. So a G meter is just another piece of data you can use to get yourself faster. So I'm really excited to use it. Um, we are supposed to race this weekend, but the weather looks bad. So. I might be back out working on my boat, getting ready for boat season. But um, she's ready. She's sitting here. Just changed the oil. Oil looked great, so no bearing issues. So um, we're ready to go racing. But um, again, guys, hope you guys learned something. Appreciate it. Comment, like, subscribe, like what you're watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.